An exciting development for history lovers and veterans alike. The National D-Day Memorial in Bedford is adding new exhibits. WDBJ 7's Lindsay Cook tells us how the new sites will honor our nation's bravest. Although there's not too much to see right now, this spot of land beside me is going to be the location for several new projects that are coming to the D-Day Memorial in the next few years. Everything we do here, we like to tell a story. If you visited the National D-Day Memorial today, you would see a large object covered with a brown tarp storing thousands of stories from World War II. And it's one of several new attractions coming to the D-Day Memorial in an expansion President April Cheek Messier calls Phase One. The memorial itself is a beautiful monument to tell the story of D-Day, but we also recognize that over time we have to look at new and different ways to share the story of D-Day and World War II with our visitors. Underneath the tarp is the Higgins boat, one of the few remaining left in the world. It's one of many World War II artifacts coming to the National Memorial during Phase 1. The memorial will be building an amphitheater for gatherings and military concerts. A new 1940s motor pool will house all of the one-of-a-kind artifacts. The more unique artifacts that we can bring for visitors to come back to over and over again and see all of these new additions, I think just means that we're continuing to share the stories of our veterans. This expansion is more than just a physical addition. It's a way to ensure that the stories of veterans who have come and gone, as well as those still with us, continue to be remembered. We want them to know that this is the legacy that you're leaving, that we're going to make sure that your story continues to be told long after they are gone. Those stories will continue to live on through the memorial and preserved for the next generation. The more that we add to this beautiful site, the more we're able to share those stories in unique and different ways, the more that we know that, that those lessons are being passed on for the next generation to continue uh, to pass on to their kids and their grandkids. Cheek Messier hopes phase one will finish in five years. The second phase will introduce a new welcome and education center to the memorial. These projects are funded using donations to the memorial. Anyone interested in contributing to the expansion are encouraged to donate at dday.org and help honor some of our nation's heroes. In Bedford, Lindsay Cook, WDBJ7. Today in Danville, the police department is hosting its fourth annual Bikes on the Main. 